Well, hello there. Welcome, Bob here. It's uh, Monday around midday where I am here in St. Louis, standing outside of my front door. So I wanted to come at you today and uh, share two quotes that are very similar to each other. Quotes that resonate with me and maybe they will resonate with you too. Um, if you're watching this either live or you're watching the replay later, uh, what I would love for you to do is just leave a comment. Say, hey, hi, let me know where you're watching from. I just wanted to come on live and share some quotes with you. So I'd love to know what if you've heard these quotes before and if they resonate with you. They're very similar from two very different types of people. So if you're ready for it, here's one of the quotes. I'm going to give you the other one, and then I'm just going to riff on it a little bit, and maybe it will inspire you. So the first one is from the late Jim Rohn, who was a uh, well-known speaker and motivational guy. And here's his quote. Learn how to be happy with what you have while you pursue all that you want. Listen to that one more time. Learn how to be happy with what you have while you pursue all that you want. So hold that thought for just a moment here. I'm gonna give you the second quote, which is from someone very different than Jim Rohn, but inspirational in his own way. This is from Reverend Run. And so if you're familiar with the, uh, the band Run DMC from, uh, from back in the day, and they, I know they did Walk This Way, I think, with Aerosmith at one point, but they were one of the original sort of hip-hop and rap artists back in the day, or at least one of the more po the popular early ones. But Reverend Run is just, uh, he's got a, a, a ton of quotes. And, and this one, very similar to Jim's, he says, Want to be happy? Let go of what's gone. Be grateful for what remains. And look forward to what's coming. So again, that quote by Jim Rohn is, learn how to be happy with what you have while you pursue all that you want. The other one from Reverend Run is, want to be happy? Let go of what's gone, be grateful for what remains, and look forward to what's coming. So the reason that these, this resonates with me, I'm going to put this down, um, is that uh, there's a conundrum that a lot of people, creative people in particular, but human beings of all kinds, they tend to um, look at their current circumstances and realize that it's not exactly the ideal picture of the life that they would like to lead or to, to live. And that's actually a good thing because, yeah, if, we're, if you're aspiring to better your life, you're always looking forward. You're always looking to uh, new things. So there's an idea that you have, something you want to create, some type of place you want to live, a relationship you want to be in, a business you want to run, whatever the case may be. And so you have this vision, which is an awesome aspiration, but your current situation doesn't reflect that. So that often leads to frustration. It's like, damn it, I'm not where I want to be. And so you can really kind of get into a cycle of being frustrated, maybe even depressed about that. And that's understandable. I mean, we all have this sort of uh, friction in our lives. But again, when we notice this disparity between where we are and where we want to be. However, there's something to be said for being grateful for what you have currently, no matter what your current circumstances are. Because I do believe that, that this whole gratitude thing is important. If you don't fully embrace and respect and honor where you are now, uh, it's a little tough. If you're frustrated with where you are, it doesn't give you a very good foundation on upon which to pursue those ideal, those dreams that you have. And so that's why I think it helps to appreciate, even though there's not the ideal of circumstances, to sort of say, well, and also take 100% responsibility for where you are in your life, for the most part. With rare exceptions, your current circumstances are something that you chose through the decisions you made and the actions you took in the past. But the good news about that is if you had the power to get to where you are now, you also have the power to create a new future. Again, it's good to aspire, to be frustrated, to have that sort of uh, little dissonance in your life, not matching up to where you want to be, but try to be as grateful as you can for what's currently available in your life because that gives you the juice, it gives you a firm foundation for, to appreciate what's coming. So I love this concept about being grateful for where I am now and being eager for more. You can do both, but a lot of people do one or the other. So speaking of that, I appreciate all of you following me, tuning in. I'm very grateful. Uh, maybe, I'll, maybe I can also at the same time aspire to maybe do a higher production video things. <laughs> 
in the future. So anyway, find this balance between being grateful for what you have, wherever your circumstances are in your life, accept them, honor them, going, this is, I, I made decisions that got me to where I am, and I can also make decisions and take actions that will lead me to a better place. Again, let me see what Reverend Ron added another spin to that. He said, let, let go of what's gone. So that's another mistake that people do in the past. They uh, will sort of stew about maybe poor decisions that they made or the, or the circumstances that they were dealt and be frustrated. And they're letting that frustration of their past, they're letting the frustration of their uh, present affect their ability to move forward and create the life that they want. And so again, let go of what's gone, good or bad. When you look to the past and you uh, assign a label of these things were good, these things were bad, that's cool. But the good things, celebrate them and use them as fuel to uh, move you forward. For the, for, the, for the poor decisions you made in the past, whether it's business or personal or whatever, learn from them. If something didn't go as planned, you got a result and you can use that result to make better decisions moving forward. So let go of what's gone. For, be grateful for what remains. Again, that's just being grateful for what you have, where you are right now, and look forward to what's coming. So Jim Brown just says that in a different way. Learn how to be happy with what you have while you pursue all that you want. So that's my little thought for, for the day here. Appreciate whatever you've done in the past to be grateful for wherever you are. Just count the blessings that you have in this current moment, this day, this week. And actually it comes down to this moment. In each moment you can be grateful. But always be eager for more. Always be aspiring to a better life and taking those action steps, having a vision, but not being so frustrated with where you are that it keeps you, it just creates negative energy moving forward. So how can you keep that positivity going, not get too comfortable with where you are so that you're still growing and pursuing and expanding and doing more good in the world. So there's my uh, little inspirational moment here so thank you all for watching i hope you're having an awesome day leave a comment let me know if you're watching this let me know your own thoughts about this gratitude thing i would love to know what you think all right thanks a lot for tuning in take care and i'll talk to you later this is bob baker saying so long for now